Hallelujah. We'll soon be in 2021. May God take all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Don't worry, just put on your seatbelt. Emirates. I will learn simply, so don't worry. Okay, I'm going to tell you I'm a new pilot. And I fly very well. <laughs> Madam Claudia, the first letter of the Pope of Liberia, welcome to you. <laughs> and the son, Chan, we are. Good to see you. <laughs> Being a member of the cabinet, we are present pastors, clergy, directors, our special guest, Mr. Philip, Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Philip Brown, our NPD choir. Our darling choir, visiting guests, the world best choir. <laughs> Our first time visitors, you are welcome. Liberians here, Liberians around the world, the diaspora. I want to say 2020 will soon be over and I want to thank you all for everything. As we thank God for a year that some of us don't work being alive but God spare our life. So we do it by His holy name. Put in a seatbelt Got a lot of clouds, cloudy here, and uh, a lot of turbulence. But I'll let it play for you. <laughs> Fellow parishioners, I've come before you this evening as we approach the end of 2020 and anticipate the beginning of 2021 with a heart that is filled with mixed emotions. At the same time, last year, we are all looking forward to the beginning of 2020 with great hope and anticipation that will be and bring us a better life of progress and prosperity at the end the first decade of, 20, of the 21st century. But as we now know, our hopes were soon cut short by the advent of an unexpected pandemic that swept across the entire world, infecting millions of people and killing hundreds of thousands, causing economic devastation financial difficulties such as the war and never before its period. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lives in ways that we could never have imagined. Our normal social interactions and behavior have had to be altered and restricted to help prevent the spread of the virus. And even now, as the pestilence continues to increase in a new wave of infection, we have no idea where our lives will ever return to normal again. And so tonight, and so tonight, our hearts are saddened for the deaths 
of all those who perish this year because of this pandemic. And we pray for their grieving family and for their souls that they may rest in perfect peace. And we go to 2021, which will arrive in a few minutes with feelings of uncertainty and anxiety about what this new year holds for us. Fellow par parishioners, I ask you now to join me in a prayer for hope. After a very difficult year, let us stand and pray. Father God, I thank you for helping us to make it through this difficult year. Thank you that you have carried us through the uncertainty of deep waters, through the flames of trials, and through the pains of hard losses. We are constantly aware of how much we need you. Your grace, your strength, your power, the working through even the toughest days. Help us to keep our focus first on you this season. Help us to reflect again on what Christmas is really all about. Thank you that you came to give new life, peace, hope, and joy. Thank you that your power is made perfect in our weakness. Fill us with your joy and the peace of your spirit as we enter the new year. Direct our hearts and minds towards you. Thank you that both in seasons of celebrations and in seasons of challenge, you must stay with us. For great is that faithfulness. Amen. 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 Fellow parishioners, it is time like this that we must seek solace and strength and hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. As we are about to make this transition in time from the old year to the new year, from the known to the unknown. We must heed the directions and assurance given in Proverbs 3, 5, 6 verses. Trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct the path. And in all that we do, we must seek the peace that He gave us in troubled times as well as in good times. That is why I based my sermon this evening on the following scripture from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Coming from the New Living Translation. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace that I gave is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or be afraid. As you can see from this verse, God has promised us peace of mind and heart as a gift. So how do you get God's peace in your life? God's peace is not something you can buy. It is not something that you can earn. It is not something that you can work for or beg for. As the scripture which 
I just quote that says, God peace is a gift. A gift that you can only receive by faith. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. If you don't have faith in God, you cannot receive his peace. Yeah. As we compare with this at the beginning of 2021, let me tell you that it is only God's peace that we can rely on to take us safely to the uncertain time. So, how do you get God's peace? That is the theme of my sermon tonight. How do you get God's gift of peace? My fellow parishioners, God has promised us the gift of peace. But in order to be the recipient of that gift, you have to turn to God in prayer. You have to tell Him what is on your mind. If you focus on His goodness, then His peace that passes all understanding will surely fill your heart and mind. It's occurs to me that all peace is one of our deepest needs. And it is definitely important that we seek it. But there are many who seek it and have not found it. And so, if God has promised you peace of mind and you do not have it, you have to ask yourself why. So many of us, let me just walk. So many of us have issues with ourselves. Only because we want to change other people. We constantly burden ourselves with issues that is not important to us. If we believe in God, and we believe that with God, all things are possible, yes. then we don't need to worry. Yeah. We don't need to stress out. Yeah. We don't need to get into people's business. Hallelujah. So why some people can't or will never receive God's peace? Why? But there are a number of things that may be getting in the way of enjoying God's gift of peace. Firstly, we tend to lose our peace when problems are unexplainable. When you can see why, you cannot explain why this happening, we lose our focus. When we are going through difficult times and our plans do not seem to be working out.